Does swimming really help fight osteoporosis? Or is it just another nice sounding myth we keep repeating? Many people believe swimming is great for your bones. But what if I told you the truth is far more complex, and depending on how you swim, you could actually be losing bone density, not gaining. Today, you're going to discover the full truth about swimming and osteoporosis. And more importantly, how to use swimming the right way to protect your bones, avoid fractures, and stay strong and active for decades to come. 1. What is osteoporosis, and why you should take it seriously? Osteoporosis is sneaky. It weakens your bones silently. No pain. No warning. Until one day, a small fall leads to a major fracture. By age 50, one in two women and one in four men will suffer a fracture related to osteoporosis. And many of those fractures change people's lives forever. But here's the good news. You can prevent, and even partially reverse, the effects of osteoporosis. And the right kind of movement is the key. Now think with me. If water makes you feel light, does it also give your bones the challenge they need to grow stronger? 2. The problem with traditional swimming. Low impact, low stimulus. Swimming is one of the best exercises in the world for cardiovascular health, joint mobility, lung capacity, and longevity. But here's the catch when it comes to bone strength. There's no gravitational impact. And bones need impact. They need to feel your body weight pressing against the ground to get the message. I need to grow stronger. That's why studies show that swimmers tend to have lower bone density than runners, weightlifters, or even brisk walkers. But don't jump to conclusions. That doesn't mean swimming is bad for people with osteoporosis. Quite the opposite. It simply means that you need to use swimming strategically. 3. How swimming indirectly helps your bones. While swimming alone may not trigger bone growth like lifting weights or running, it strengthens other essential systems that support bone health. Muscular strength. Stronger muscles help stabilize and protect your bones. Balance and coordination. Dramatically reduce the risk of falls, the main cause of fractures. Joint mobility lets you stay active even with weaker bones. Swimming also reduces pain, improves posture, and gives you an insane boost of physical and mental energy. That sensation of lightness like your body just dropped a 40-pound backpack. So instead of thinking, swimming doesn't help bones, think like this. Swimming prepares my body to live better with fragile bones and protects me from the falls that cause fractures. 4. How to maximize the benefits of swimming with osteoporosis. Now let's get practical. If you want to use swimming as a powerful ally in the fight against osteoporosis, don't just swim randomly. Here's how to turn swimming into a tool for long-term bone protection. 1. Add resistance tools in the water. Use paddles, kickboards, pull buoys, or fins. They increase resistance and force your muscles to work harder. Example. Fins make your legs kick with more force. That strengthens glutes, lower back, and quads, all critical for balance and bone protection. 2. Combine swimming with impact-based exercise. Add two to three weekly sessions of brisk walking, stair climbing, or bodyweight training, like squats or lunges. This gives you the full package. The mobility of water plus the bone stimulus of land impact. 3. Practice balance drills in the pool. Try walking in the shallow end without holding on, or balancing on one leg for 10 seconds. It sounds simple, but it activates the stabilizing muscles that keep you upright outside the pool. This builds a stronger, more stable body, and lowers your risk of falling even in the most unpredictable situations. And tell me in the comments, have you ever had a bone scare or dealt with osteoporosis? I'd love to hear your story, it might even inspire a future video. 5. The best swimming styles for people with osteoporosis. Not all swim strokes are equal. If you want safety, stability, and full body strengthening, start with backstroke or freestyle. Backstroke opens the chest, improves posture, and is gentle on the spine. Freestyle activates your arms, core, and legs in a balanced way, boosting strength and endurance together. Avoid strokes like breaststroke or butterfly if you have lower back or hip issues. They demand more flexibility and power, and can stress your body if you're not prepared. Pro tip, 
If you feel pain when swimming, slow down, improve your form, or switch to floating and gentle water-based strength work. 6. The truth no one talks about. Here's what almost no one tells you. Osteoporosis isn't just about bones. It's about independence. It's about walking upstairs without fear, dancing, lifting your grandkids, living with confidence, and swimming, used the right way, can be the bridge between fear of injury and freedom of movement. You don't have to feel fragile. You don't have to feel limited. With the right strategy, you can build a body that's firm, agile, and strong, even with an osteoporosis diagnosis. But now there's one big question that almost no one asks. What about food? What are the actual nutrients and specific foods that help your bones rebuild and that you can start eating today? Spoiler, calcium alone won't cut it. But that is a topic for the next video. Found this helpful? Hit like and subscribe to Prime Health Zone for more real workouts and wellness that actually work. And hey, drop a comment below if this helped you or if there's something you'd love to see in the next videos. See you in the next one. Stay strong, stay healthy.